Hey, everybody, welcome to the ASEA 5. It's Friday night, and we're so happy to have you join us here. As you know, if you've been tuning in on Friday nights, you probably know the regular group. I'm Dr. Maureen Hayes from Galveston, Texas. We have Jim and Ann Glenn from San Antonio. Hello. Howdy. Our financial um, expert, and Ann is our nutritionist. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Dr. Lee Osler, a dentist mm -hmm. from Washington State, who teaches us a lot about um, the oral systemic bridge between for our health. And he's pretty much an expert on NRF too. So we love having him. Tonight, we have a very special and very dear friend of ours, very special guest on Donalyn Dominguez, who is a diamond in ASEA. She's only been with the company for three years. She has an incredible testimonial of her own. But even more exciting is that she's been able to share this with so many people. And because she's a midwife, and she owned a birthing center. And so she would share it with all of her clientele there, all the moms that were coming in. And so we're so fortunate and so thankful to have her here tonight. And Jim, since she's in your family, why don't you give us a little bit more information on Donna Lynn and then let Donna Lynn take over the show. Besides <laughs> she looking so nice and sweet, <laughs> she really isn't. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. Um, Donalyn is like a sister to me. Um, she is extremely close. She's amazing. Her husband, Chris, we've become very, very good friends. Uh, I'm going to let Donalyn share the story about how we met, but you're never going to find anybody that's more caring. Uh, anybody that at her wonderful young age that will do what she did in becoming a midwife and not young in life, but a little bit more seasoned um, because she just loves people. She loves babies. And her heart is bigger than Texas. And we are so honored to have her part of our ASEA family. And um, she is probably the number one rated, if not in Texas, if not in the country, she was because she's now uh, not doing the midwifery anymore, but she had to be the number one rated midwife in Texas, again, if not in the country. And we were blessed to be able to see her previous, where she worked, what she owned and what she started. What was her baby? Was what, Donalyn, a 10,000 plus square foot midwifery with three unbelievable birthing centers, uh, birthing suites, I should say. <clears throat> um, her donkeys were awesome. <laughs> her babies and... She's amazing. So I'm 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 sorry to Don Lynn that it took us so long to get you here, but it's an honor to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Y'all are so kind. Um, I am very honored to be on this panel tonight. Um, what a what a great place, what a great honor to get to participate with people of this caliber in the business. <laughs> And it's really a dream come true. So thank you all for allowing this. Um, I'm excited to tell you so much. I hope we have time. <laughs> I could probably talk to you for several hours, but I will cut it short. Um, first of all, I think Maureen wanted me to tell a little bit about how I got into ASEA and what brought me to this platform. And uh, it was my help. So um, I had a surgery in 2015 for um, a mole on my leg that didn't look good and uh, was not good cells. So that was removed and I thought everything was fine. But a year later, um, I had a reoccurrence of the bad cells and they were in more places by then, including my lungs. And so my prognosis was fair, the doctor said. He did not expect me to live, but he put me on a treatment that uh, would help uh, at least give me another 13 months is what it said. And Chris was like, yeah, you're going to do that because I want you to live. And of course, I don't tell people I'm not very uh, vocal about what's going on with my private life. So not many people knew the situation. I continued to work. I owned the birth center. It was busy. I had lots of babies to deliver. 
And so I continued to work and I had three of the four treatments that they recommended, but the third one killed my pituitary gland and put me in ICU. So the doctor said, you can have the fourth, it would kill you. So we're not gonna do it. And I said, good, cause I'm not gonna take it anyway. And uh, he said, but you will need to do one of the two medications that we're giving you uh, every month for the rest of your life to keep things quiet. And I said, nope, not going to do it. I had been a midwife for 15 years. Well, I have been now. Then it was, I guess, 12 or so. And I've always done everything naturally. All my remedies were natural. Uh, we do all of the prenatal care and delivery and postpartum for our mom. And I am trained completely in the medical arena for all the situations um, from vitals to suturing to uh, postpartum emotional situations. And but I've used natural remedies for all of it all along. And I have a list as long as my arm of things that I have used. So I decided I would just find something to help me get well and began a search. Um, I did lots of things, spent lots of money over the next 16 months. In May of 2017, my nutritionist, um, who is a precious woman, and in this business gave me a bottle of ASEA. But she was in the process of moving and I was up to my neck in bursts and things happening at the birth center. And so she moved, I took the bottle home. We had set me up and ordered for me. I took the bottle home and tasted it and it tasted like swimming pool water. And I went, I don't know what this stuff is. And I cannot believe that she would scam me. She would dupe me into some kind of network marketing thing. I can't believe it because I never intended to be in any kind of network again. Um, so uh, I just poured the bottle out and went on about my day. And Jim kept trying to call me because he was her upline. He would call I knew that there was a function going on that summer because they would text and tell me about it and invite me. I ignored it. He would call. I ignored that. I was not going to go to a meeting or uh, any kind of anything, no conventions, no nothing. No, I was, I was way too busy. I had a full-time job. So I stubbornly just ignored them until December. And um, by then I had had a knee replacement in August um, and I was in so much discomfort. It wouldn't get well because I have to be on steroids because I don't have a pituitary gland and you have to have steroids to replace cortisol or you die. So I take it. And um, so December 4th came and Jim called again. And I guess I was at an all time low because I answered the phone and I was even honest with him, which I, I, that surprised, I surprised myself because I don't talk to strangers. I didn't know him, but he asked how I was. And I said, I wasn't doing very good. And so he encouraged me and explained what redox was. And I got on it. I drank he said, it's 100% non-toxic. And he gave me all the research. And of course I did it then. And um, he said, it's 100% non-toxic. So I said, okay, well, if a little's good, then a lot's got to be better. And he says, it's non-toxic. So I'm just going to drink it by that time. Since I had never taken the time to turn off auto ship, I had seven cases in my house. And so I thought, well, you know, it's too late to return it. So I'll just drink it and I will show him that this isn't going to work just like the I'd probably spent $10,000 since this all began. And I'll show him that this doesn't work just like everything else doesn't work. So I drank two ounces twice a day for the first two or three days. And then I doubled it. And then I doubled it. And then I doubled it. And I was probably up to somewhere between 24 and 32 ounces a day by the third week. 
and I was wrapping Christmas presents and my husband walked in and said, do you know what time it is? I went, no. And he said, it's 11 o'clock. I had been to bed at 6 p.m. every day for 16 months because that's when the medicine wore off and my energy was gone. So uh, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I, <laughs> I said, it's 11 o'clock and I still feel good. He said, yep, it's 11. So I knew then that something was happening. I went to bed praying that God wasn't teasing me and that this was real because I so desperately wanted to get well and live. And so um, my energy continued to be good. And then and a couple of weeks later, I trotted down the stairs like a teenager with absolutely no discomfort in my knee, no swelling, no stiffness. And then I was excited. I began to tell everybody that came through the door about my miracle. And because of that, we started a business pretty quick. I will forever, forever give Jim Glenn credit for my life because I would not be here had he not been so persistent. And so it was aggravating to me at the time. And it has been the best gift of my life that he did that. So, um, my group began to grow. I was, I still didn't have time, did not want to build a networking business, but everybody wanted to feel as good as I did. And so I would say, I'd call Jim and say, such and such wants to sign up. Can you handle it? So he just did all of that for me for the first couple of months. And then one day he called and said, do you know what, or, or have you set up your smart wallet? And I said, what's a smart wallet? And he said, they're trying to pay you. And I went, they're going to pay me because I had not one time considered doing this as a business. It, that was not even in my thought process. And he said, yeah, they're trying to pay you. And when I got on Smart Wallet and set it up, I was amazed at the bonus that was there waiting. So then I began to think, you know, it would be pretty dumb of me not to consider continuing to share this with people because I am at retirement age. I was 54 when I started midwifery, and that was 15 years ago. So now you know how old I am. And um, so I knew I couldn't deliver babies forever. And at that point, I wasn't even sure how long I was going to live. So um, now I know I'm going to live a long, long, long time because I'm well. But anyway, uh, all of that to say, things took off at that point. And then I realized if this worked that well for my body, what could I do with my girls? It's 100% non-toxic. And what else out there is? Think about it. Do you know one vitamin, herb, supplement that is truly 100% non-toxic? There aren't any. You can overdose on any vitamin. You can overdose on water, but you cannot overdose or do any damage with redox signaling molecules because they are an aid to our body. They are part of the cellular process already. And so it can only do good. So I'm thinking all of the pregnancy things that arise in the course of that nine months that could possibly be averted are corrected. And I began to talk to the girls about it. I taught a nutrition exercise and relaxation class to everybody that came through the door. It was a requirement when they were about 12 to 15 weeks, we did this class. And uh, I would explain to them about redox. I tried not to be too forceful because I was still really scared that somebody was going to call me a network marketer or think that I was taking advantage of them because they were my client. But oh my gosh, the ones that got on it, the results were unbelievable. And I'm still amazed. I did a spreadsheet. And we compared the girls who had not taken redox to the ones who had. And it's phenomenal, the difference. Very, very significant. Uh, some of it I probably can't uh, really talk about in a mixed crowd. Uh, I, can't, I can't tell you all the things. Now, Dr. Osler can tell you about crowns and, and um, cavities and fillings, but what I'm working with, I can't be too 
uh, detailed about. But I can tell you that we had um, a difference in the length of birth, the length of time it took to birth. I compared 25 who had not been on redox to 25 who had. The 25 who had not taken redox, the average length of time, the average of the 25 was 22 hours, which is not that unusual for birth, especially with a first timer. 18 to 24 hours can be pretty normal. Of course, what we count is active labor. So that's a pretty big number. Um, the ASEA group, the average length of labor was seven hours. Now that in itself would make most people go, I want some of that stuff. And then there were all the issues that can arise with veins in ladies' legs um, and the gel did magic. Uh, those veins are not always just in the legs. So it was amazing. Um, the nursing babies, um, the gel will heal anything. So I used it for baby boys uh, that got circumcised or babies that had diaper rash or moms that got sore when they were nursing uh, and everything heals so fast, everybody's amazed. And then there's the whole issue with suturing as much as I know y'all don't want to think about that, but it's a real part of birth. And the number that had to have it was decreased by about 81% in the group that took the redox and used the gel because it creates such good uh, skin integrity and the cells are working from the inside out and I'm in the liquid and then the gel is working from the outside in. So um, I've had, I had moms that had very serious, significant damage done with previous births and none after they started using the redox and the gel. So, so many testimonies, a baby that um, had cysts on his brain and I put his mom on redox, next sonogram, they were gone. Now, maybe they would have gone away anyway, but you'll never convince me. I think it was the redox. And then that, that particular little baby, his mama did an amazing job. He backed into the world instead of coming the way they're supposed to. And that was even beautiful. Uh, so I, I could tell you lots of stories and embarrass all of you, I'm sure, but I won't do that. Um, I'll just tell you that the things that I saw prenatally from blood pressure to sugar leveling to um, edema, all of those issues were either corrected or prevented, even hemoglobin. My moms who had normally low hemoglobin with every pregnancy, I put on this and they never even had to have a supplement to increase it. So I just saw tremendous results. I think every pregnant woman on the planet should be on this. And I would ask them to start from the beginning of their pregnancy. Now, some didn't. Some started maybe the last trimester, but that was from 28 weeks to 40. And that was enough time. If they didn't take it at all, I always had a bottle at the birth center and I would feed them shots all the way through labor. Because when you think about it, when the cells are signaling, their body performs the way it's supposed to. So um, I don't know. I can't go back and see how they would have done without it. But I truly believe that they did better with it. And I always use the, the gel all the way through the, the labor and delivery uh, for anything that I needed to do. And even on the baby's back and the bottom of his feet, if his breathing was a little rough and um, that cleared up. So, I mean, I'm sure I'm forgetting, but there are so many things we saw. 
Donna Lynn, can you yeah. speak to, um, I've heard people say that when they were on a SIA that the placenta actually looks healthier. Did you notice anything like that? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, uh, placenta encapsulation is kind of a thing. It's not new anymore. They've been doing it for several years, but a lot of girls have their placenta encapsulated in order to take, uh, get the positive hormones back into their body and help them not have any postpartum depression. Um, Explain that a little bit, uh, Donlin, what the capturing, what that, what is, I don't know what that means. Well, uh, you may not want to know, but they take take the placenta (laughs) and they actually dehydrate it and then crush it and put it in capsules. Oh, okay. Okay. Encapsulate it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I didn't know what that meant. Taking their placenta. Okay. I had more than one, this is before ASEA, but I had more than one that when the delivery happened, I would examine the placenta because that's part of what we do and tell them, don't you dare put this back in your mouth in any form. We're, we're not doing that. You're not doing that because the placenta is a barrier organ. It is actually what um, filters out what mom has in her system before it gets to baby. It's one of the most miraculous organs in the human body and the only one that was really designed to be discarded. But um, if it's healthy, if it's very healthy, it's just like liver is a healthy organ food that we can eat. Uh, You don't want to do it from cows that have been fed corn and GMOs and all of the stuff, but it's, if it's really clean meat, that's very good for your health. And and placenta can be the same, kind of considered the same way. Um, But yes, the ones that had been on ASEA, you can see they're beautiful. They're perfect. There are no infarcts or calcifications. Uh, The color is rich the way it's supposed to be. It's integral. It doesn't fall apart when I pick it up. And those are all the things I look for. So uh, very interesting, the difference. It shows that it's working on a cellular level all the way through their pregnancy as they build that baby. And also, Dr. Osler, I think that you could probably talk about um, the EGR1 pathway. And I mean, I was just looking over it today. When you think about um, the serotonin, what do what happens with pregnancy? A lot of girls get very emotional and, uh, you know, their husbands wonder who moved in because that's no longer their wife. Uh, that is very interesting that ASEA would affect that. And the um, uh, circadian rhythm, they don't sleep well at night. So this helps that. And I had one that was actually on antidepressants and she came and I said, let's try this instead. It worked fine. She didn't have to have, she didn't have any ill effects from not being on the antidepressants. And so then there's, did mm-hmm. the babies start to sleep through the night earlier? That would be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could give them a little and run that test. But <laughs> well, after breastfeeding, maybe they're getting some extra molecules that way. Be interesting. I do. I do tell the moms if babies are colicky and have a tummy ache, we rub the gel on their bellies and they stop crying. I mean, it's amazing to watch it work. Um, ovarian infertility. That's another thing on this chart. How many girls are trying to get pregnant and can't? And you know why they can't is partly because of the toxins in our water and food and preservatives and dyes and all of the things we're exposed to also possibly having been on birth control pills um, that does so much damage. I don't want to offend anyone, but it does damage to the female organs and makes delivery more challenging. So to correct those things, scar tissue or uh, disruptions in their, um, in their uterus or their cervix or anything else with the redox, 
is an amazing gift. And then there's a pre-implantation embryo on this, sudden death, sudden infant death syndrome. A thyroid, thyroid is a big issue with pregnancy because all hormones can go wacko. So to be able to give them one thing, insulin signaling, I had one sweet little girl that was um, borderline in trouble with her sugar levels and she did not want to go on medication. And so I said, okay, if you will control your diet and take redox two ounces twice a day, We'll see how that does. And she started checking her sugar levels and they were great. And then she called me one day and said, Donna Lynn, I had a cheat day. I had um, all this Chinese food with sweet sauces. And then I had a piece of chocolate cake and my sugar is 260. And I went, oh my goodness, okay. I want you to drink eight ounces of Redox and in 15 minutes, I want you to start drinking water and do a quart of water over 45 minutes and then take your sugar level again. And when she did, her sugar was down to 130. Now, I hope that's not non-compliant. Non I don't know that it would do that for everyone, but I know it worked for her. And I had to tell her, now, don't think that just because this worked that you can cheat all the time and then fix it that way. But it was amazing. It was an amazing result. Um, so anyway, I just thought how many of these pathways are involved when we're growing a baby? You just think about even the things on the bottle, um, the digestive tract, how many pregnant women have indigestion or morning sickness? How many, um, how many pregnant women are affected by, um, uh, achy joints or achy whatever, uh, inflammation, that's, that's a big one. Swelling can be a big thing. Now, I still preach nutrition. When I was very ill, I learned to eat. And I did so much nutrition training um, that I feel like I, I've got a very good handle on that. So in my class, it was pretty strict, and I explained to them what they could and could not or should and should not eat. Now, not all of them did it, but a few did. A few took me seriously and completely changed the way their families ate from then on. So uh, I had a lot of fun. I love babies. I love midwifery. I love the whole process. I love young women and watching them change from little girls. They just come in not having a clue about anything. And by the time I finished um, delivering at the birth center, some of them had four or five babies and they just come, come in with the next one, marching those children in, barking orders to them. And it just made me grin to see them go from little girls to beautiful mamas and so it has been a it's been a blessing to me to have this career. And then the redox on top of it is just amazing. I do wish I had more time to get women on it. I, I don't have the same platform I did, but now I have this platform and uh, I intend to try to tell everybody. Of course, we all believe that everyone should be on redox signaling molecules. Everyone needs them. I don't care how healthy you think you are. Um, bad cells like I have grow in your body for eight years before they're big enough to detect. And statistically, according to the truth about bad cells, uh, they are there like one out of two people are walking around growing bad cells. So to eat properly and exercise and uh, drink redox is of the utmost importance for every single person here. Yeah. So every person on the planet. Mm -hmm. So Donna, I have a couple of questions, you know, um, when you think about the, uh, like I had a 30, 30 hour labor, I would love to have known redox back then, but, and it was with a midwife. And I think about the benefits of redox and the renew um, for 
you know, Braxton Hicks contractions and C-section scars and, you know, the even the, the men, their hormones, if their hormones are messed up, then that mom is going to have a harder time getting pregnant. And so you just think about all the things that redox could benefit for someone getting ready to be pregnant, someone having the, the, the nine months, not having such a bad birth. And then you think about the little one when they're little with toothaches, we know that we can use the you know, all we knew was aura gel or whatever back then. I would love to have just renew 28 in the mouth for, for the, for the issues going on. And, and then there, there are cuts and bruises and all the things that show up with, with kiddos. And we see kids, little babies with heart murmurs and all these things that we know redox can, you know, our body has the ability to heal itself. And this is a good time to do our disclaimer that we don't treat we don't diagnose. We're not claiming cures here. We're just saying, let the body do what God designed it to do to be self-healing. And you can get the same for the babies because redox is in them from the day they're born. You know, the, it's in their body. So it's very safe. So maybe you can address some of that. Well, I, I did see it change the length of labor. I saw it happen. And when I got the two sheets that I had, documented the birth on and mm -hmm. I have several things on it. Um, uh, the degree of laceration, the length of labor, the uh, EBL, our estimated blood loss, the um, um, anyway, several different things that I figured and across the board, even group B strep, across mm -hmm. the board, the ones on the redox did better. Um, sometimes all the way around, sometimes some issues better than others. But I think my longest labor, and I only had a couple of first timers, but I think my longest labor on my list of ones who uh, were actually taking the redox was like 12 hours. And most of them were five or six. I had several that were two. Two hours, that's barely enough time to get to the birth center. And a couple of them just barely got to the birth center, had their baby on, in the driveway on the way in. So we kind of had a halfway car delivery. <laughs> but uh, they're all fun as long as the baby gets there. I mean, I think the thing that I love about this business, the redox signaling molecules, teaching people about redox and ASEA and the gel and the nutraceuticals and all of the things that we have and birth is that there's no two situations alike. I don't go to work and get bored with what I do and never, never have since I became a midwife because there's not two stories alike. They're not two births alike. I used to tell the moms in childbirth class, the only thing I can guarantee you about these list of things that might happen when you are in labor, because there are a lot of things that might happen or might not happen. You know, they're water breaking and all that. It's not like it is on the hot on the television. The only thing that I could can guarantee them about every birth was that if they delivered with me, at the birth center, their baby was going to come out in the same place. Everything else was a variable and could be different for each person. So we've had a lot of fun and a lot of uh, a lot of experiences. Um, but yes, and the length of labor, and then of course the baby's teeth, and a lot of babies now we find have since we've discovered what it does, we found that they have lip and tongue ties. And the little frenulum, uh -huh. you all know Dr. Osler. And we have a dentist here in our area that does a laser procedure and releases those. And then they have to do the stretches to keep it from growing back, reattaching. And so she doesn't want them to use the redox, the Renew 28, the first 24 hours, because it heals it mm -hmm. too fast. Sure. Is that amazing? Yeah. It heals. Yeah too fast. So they use her aloe gel the first 24 hours, and then they switch to redox and are renew 28. And they could do the stretches 
and the baby wouldn't even cry. Now they don't mm. like having your fingers in their mouth, but it didn't hurt when they put the Renew 28 on it. And same thing with teething and, um, you know, drops in their eyes if they get a little eye infection. Breast milk is good for that too, but the redox works every time. Drops in their nose if they have a stuffy nose. I mean, this cannot hurt them. This cannot hurt anybody. So I tell them newborn babies to 95 year old men, it doesn't matter. You can use this on everybody and it will work every time in one way or the other. Cannot not work. Hey, Don Lane, uh, could, yes. could you comment about the difference uh, that you've noticed be in, between the group of babies born uh, without the ASEA support and those that had the ASEA support? Was there any uh, noticeable difference categorically in those two groups in terms of how the babies themselves did through the birth process? Um, <clears throat> well, Probably differences that I can't really pinpoint um, because there's so much that goes into birth itself. The position of the baby as it enters the birth canal, whether or not it's asynclitic, whether or not, you know, things that redox would not have anything to do with. Um, so I, I after, know, after birth, was there a difference? After birth, the babies are, um, I can't say 100%. I had a couple that had some issues, but the babies are generally more vigorous, uh, come around quicker. A lot of babies are a little gunky when they're first born. You can hear the rattle in their lungs. The rails are ronchi, but they clear up quickly. Uh, they're vigorous. They nurse fast. They, and, and, you know, I don't have proof that they wouldn't have done that anyway, but I feel like, I mean, the other midwife that I have worked with so much, Kathleen, she and I would just look at each other and go, another ASEA baby. If I could just tell you without embarrassing anybody, the difference in blood loss for the moms is phenomenal. Wow. Phenomenal. They're like, did they, just have a baby because things don't look like they just had a baby. It was that much less. So um, I, I had one that hemorrhaged so badly with her last birth that I told her the only way I would deliver her again is if she got on redox and she had a birth with almost no, I mean, no issues at all, nothing abnormal. And so I mean, I just love it. It's my favorite new tool and something that I just would love to have everybody use because, it, and I've had moms that said, no, they couldn't afford it. And mm -hmm. then they end up in the hospital. And I'm like, you probably could afford Redox better than you could afford mm -hmm. that hospital bill that you Yeah, You betcha. But, now, real quick, I, I don't know who wants to answer this, but on the bottle, you know, we are a dietary supplement. And on the bottom of the bottle, Donalyn, it says, warning, pregnant or nursing women should consult a physician before using. Maureen or Lee or Donalyn, whichever one, you guys are all three medical. How would you answer that? Lee, maybe you or Maureen. I'm going to send that one to Maureen. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, can you hear me all right? I got a text. Yeah. yeah. My microphone wasn't working. Um, you know, there have not been any studies done by our company on the product in pregnant women. Um, as a rule, pregnant women don't like to be guinea pigs, you know, if something has not been tried before, even though we know it's 100% non-toxic um, and it's considered generally um, safe to use. Um, it's still, that that's something that the company had wanted people to go and have a discussion with their own healthcare provider. That's one of the reasons having Donna Lynn on this, um, on this show, talking about this is so important because it allays the fear of people. You know, I have people who call me all the time and I'll say, hey, it's a non-toxic product. And I know it says ask your doctor, but I'm, I'm, I'm a doctor, but I'm not actually your doctor. Have a conversation with your own gynecologist or obstetrician or midwife, whoever's going to be taking care of your you and your pregnancy. Um, so that's why we wanted Donna Lynn to come on because she's had so much experience. Now, we're not talking just a few people 
um, over the years, what is it, three years, Donna Lynn, that you've been using it? You've probably had a hundred. How, how many people would you say you've had on the I product? Would say close to a hundred, probably. Um, oh. I did my study on a smaller um, sampling just because. I didn't really have time to deal with that so much. I couldn't really do statistics while I was winding things up, uh, but probably so. And the thing that I always tell them is, yes, I know what it says, but look at any supplement bottle that you have. Yep. Everything you take says, ask your physician if you are pregnant That's or right. lactating. Everything does. They yeah. that has to be on there to protect the companies, to protect the manufacturers. Sure. But it's one hundred percent non toxic. What does that mean to you? And Donna Lynn, let me ask you: with mm -hmm. a almost a hundred uh, women, pregnant women on this, any negative effect? Never, never. Now I had some that didn't like the taste, <laughs> but but. <laughs> you know, welcome to the world. I didn't like the taste either. That's why I didn't drink it for seven months. But after you've been on it for three or four days, I found the taste goes away and it tastes like water. So uh, I encourage everyone to get over that. I have seen, and you mentioned uh, male hormone issues. I've seen a young man who had testosterone at the level of an 85 year old man and he was 20 and he drank it for three weeks. Yeah. And his numbers came back up to normal. So I know that it brings correction to the body. Now it may not do everything for everybody. Um, I don't look like I'm 20 and I would like to, it hadn't done that for me yet. <laughs> I'm going to keep drinking it and try, but <laughs> uh, it's so not, much younger though. I, I, I was going to say, how do I, how do I handle that? Cause Donalyn, you look fantastic. You, you really do. I mean, thank you. I was just playing, but, um, <laughs> but really, I mean, as far as I'm concerned and of course I don't ever force anybody anyway uh, in any situation, but I am going to tell them it's 100% non-toxic and right. I have taken natural things and reacted to natural things before. I think everybody has, if you take too much or if it's something that doesn't agree with you, whether it's an essential oil or an herb or a, a vitamin, uh, yeah. I've had them upset my stomach. I've had them make me break out in a rash. I've had all kinds of reactions from natural products. Of course, we know the definition of natural, but this one is actually innate to our body. Same thing that's in our cells. You can't tell me you're allergic to your cells. You're not. You wouldn't be standing here if you were. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just, it, I, I have just taken it upon myself. It's my logic. It's my experience and it's my results that make me say, this is perfectly safe for pregnant women. And I think good for them. I think they should drink it. It's good for them. It's good for the baby they're growing because like I said, all of the things on this chart that they are actually affecting in their newborn, mm -hmm. they're growing brain cells, they're growing heart cells, they're yeah. growing, you know, healthy little bones and bodies. So, yeah, yeah. So you've got people that knew you before ASEA as a midwife, because I met a few of those. And then now they're coming to you for their next baby as an ASEA baby. We have one locally that's an ASEA baby and it turned out beautiful and she had great pregnancy. She's under Stephanie Hughes. And so it's neat to see that ASEA baby whenever we see her. But um, so you've got people that, you know, they do their prenatal vitamins, the things they need. Yes, I know you yes. do, you've done oils, so they knew the benefits of oils, but you can't have too many oils because those are toxic at, at too can, much level. Yeah, you can't yeah. use all oils for sure. That's right. So explain to me what you say to the mamas that are now you're introducing them to redox in your training. So we know it's the missing link. So how do you tell them that 
okay, we're going to now add this to your routine. They weren't used to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know how much more benefit it is for them to have this, but maybe you can explain that what makes it different for the mamas now to add that because they really could fit it in their budget if they maybe cut out this or cut out that and and to be able to afford it along with whatever they're doing of, of prenatal. So maybe well, you can the beautiful thing is healthy young women that in that age group, they very seldom need more than the minimal dose. So that's two ounces twice a yeah. day. Uh, if they cannot afford to spend $142 a month as one of their supplements, then um, it, it, when they look around, you know, when I take them off coffee, so they better not be stopping at Starbucks. That's right. Some of them still were. Um, but um, when they look around and see, they also did not have to have as many supplements once I got them on the redox signaling molecules. And I would explain to them the cellular process, what it does, how it works, and that I still want them on a good prenatal because right. that's important in pregnancy. But a lot of them, I used to put them on vitamin C and um, hemoglobin mm -hmm. yeah. booster and um, uh, several things throughout the pregnancy, homeopathics. Uh, toward the end, we would use evening primrose oil and oh, garlic yeah. and several mm -hmm. other things. They didn't ha need any of that anymore. Right. If they wanted to do it, they could but they could literally save a lot of the cost just by the things that they were could now eliminate and they didn't have to take near as many pills. You know, all of that is very hard on a pregnant woman's liver mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. liver is compromised when you're pregnant. It's working hard. She's mm -hmm. got more weight. Her digestion process mm -hmm. is harder because she doesn't have any room. So, yeah. It's so much easier for her to drink the redox and take a prenatal vitamin C if they want to. Of course, I'm not going to tell anybody no. And if their blood work was not good at 12 weeks or 28 weeks or 36 weeks, well, then mm -hmm. I would do whatever needed to be done to correct that issue. But yeah. uh, they just could do so much less. And most, a lot of them got it and said, whatever is good for my baby, I want to do. Awesome. And those little first time moms that have a baby in four or five hours, I mean, I'm convinced it's because they did what they needed to do. And mm -hmm. those redox signaling molecules helped them. That's okay, awesome. real quick. We, awesome. well, I can't believe I forgot about this, but Donalyn, pretend. See, the Maureen or Ann comes in. They're newly pregnant. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> but I how know. do you explain? <laughs> Maureen, uh, explain how, what are these molecules? How do you explain them to people? Then there's one other issue if we have time, Donalyn, because I think it's a monster issue with everybody, and that's the postpartum depression. Uh, there's a lot of people dealing with stress, high stress, not just with pregnancy. But if you don't mind, how do you explain you know, redox to a new person, what is it? And then if you don't mind, if we have time, how do you handle uh, the, the, the postpartum depression and just those issues in general, please? Thank you. Well, the Maureen, now that we are gonna talk about what you need in your pregnancy, our Anne, um, I explained the redox signaling molecules that it is part of the Krebs cycle. It's a cellular process. They're already in our body. I try not to get really deep unless they want to, but that the redox signaling molecules are in our cells already. They are what tell our cells where to go to repair, replace, or protect uh, cells that are not working properly. When they're not working properly, it's kind of like we have a blackout in that area of our body, whether it's hormonal or digestive or cardiac or whatever, the signal is not getting through. So when we drink the redox signaling molecules and put them back in our body, then the cells know what to do and our body heals itself. I use the tools. I send them to real redox results. I send them to amazingmolecules.com. 
I try to educate them about what it is and why it's different from every other sup supplement and how it actually helps the supplement to work more effectively. If the cells are not signaling nothing else they take, they can take 25 supplements like I was when I was sick per meal, and they're not going to do anything until the cells communicate and tell the body what is needed and where it's needed. So it's a pretty simple explanation. I did like a five minute uh, slideshow in my class that I'm going to actually put together and put online um, and then let them ask questions. And of course, they always have access to me. The difference in a midwife and a doctor is that they have my cell phone number and they call me all the time. Sometimes right up until the children are eight or 10 years old. And that's fine with me because they're like my daughters and I love them. So um, we get very close and that's why they come back baby after baby. Um, but we just explain it and and then let you know them ask questions and give them information as they do. The thing about postpartum depression is it's a hormonal imbalance yeah. and hormone modulation is one of the things listed on this bottle. It's been tested. We know that it works for that, we know. So instead of having to put them on two or three supplements and an oil, if I have them on redox already and they just transition into postpartum, I always tell them, take this, take the redox at least from week 28 to six weeks postpartum, because that will get you through that postpartum period. Your hormones won't be a roller coaster. You, you know, you won't be wondering why you ever thought you wanted a baby, which happens. It's, it's just part of, you know, sleep deprivation, the hormonal changes, everything else, your body's trying to regulate after you have a baby. It's trying to get back to homeostasis where it was before. Your uterus is changing size. Your breasts are full of milk. We're the only, I mean, can you imagine, think about it. We conceive a baby. We grow a baby. We deliver a baby. We nurse a baby. We feed a baby. So that's a lot of work on our bodies. And so as it normalizes, the, the hormones can be crazy, but when they're on the redox, they're not, and their milk supply is better. So it's just beautiful. It works yeah. and, and the serotonin on our chart, our pathways, that's the calming mechanism of the brain. So we really know it's going to help them with their, with their moods or just, just how to handle stress. It says it on the bottle. The ability to handle stress. That's the sixth one, the newest one of what these molecules can do. Now, real quick, Donlin, do you recommend to your mothers after the babies are born to go ahead and continue on the molecules? I do if they're willing. And a lot of them are sold at that point and love it and do continue. Some are on a tight budget and it's mm -hmm. something that they give up. But the thing that I'm encourages me is that they know what it is and what it will do. And usually by that time, they've given it to their husband when he came down with a cold. They've used it on their children when they acted like they were getting sick. They've seen the results. They've given it to their child who they've taken to 86 uh, allergists to try to get well. Mm -hmm. And they give them redox three days and no more allergies. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, Amazing. there's so many situations like that. So they just stay on it. They yeah think it's a family supplement that they need or right. it keeps keep around so that they have it when an issue arises so you to share it as well i mean you've grown quite an organization sure. um, a lot of these moms have joined you to tell other people about it pregnant or not yeah, yeah. Which is yes, I have. and i've yeah. also got some fabulous professionals that i work with the dentist that I mentioned and a pediatrician and chiropractors and um, awesome. a, um, acupuncturist. I talked to my little friend that's an acupuncturist just this week, and she's already had somebody call me today. So awesome. uh, mm -hmm. great, great professionals. If we can just get the word out, the point is to help everybody know this is here because yeah. somebody mm -hmm. might be as sick as I was and not 
not be around for long if they don't find out about these molecules. So I'm just grateful. But you Lee, also- Lee, Lee, gonna gonna oh, In okay. summary, I'd like to just uh, chip in here. And that is, you know, we've been sitting here for an hour listening specifically to, you know, female and pregnancy and birthing related issues. And, you know, the financial guy and the dental guy, you know, we, that's not our uh, wheelhouse, obviously. <laughs> But there is something to be said because we've, we've also introduced many other side topics that are, are mm -hmm. integral to human health here uh, that represent all, all different kinds of you know, conditions that we experience in our, uh, in our bodies. And I just want to point out that the reason why this is all working is I call it connect the dots. You know, we, we, we don't have specific studies, but this is foundational. You know, the reason why this works is because it operates at the foundational level of our health. And that's why we, it, it kind of sounds like it's too good to be true. It's like, the, it's like the, you know, the snake oil that comes along and is supposed to, to give everything. Well, actually, the snake oil really worked. It was echinacea, and that was a very powerful herb in, in dealing with those kind of issues. But uh, having said that, this is operating at that foundational level of health, those signaling pathways, those, those EGR1 pathways are all signaling pathways. And when you activate them, then everything downstream works better. And this is just kind of a, it's been, it's been fun to listen to you, Don Len, talk about this and to see your passion and your beauty and, your, and the experience that you've, you've shared with us all. I really appreciate and salute what you've done. Thank you. I also wanted to say real quick, just a blessing uh, on one of your mamas, and I won't say her name, but I, I, we read her story. I think she's in Healthy Self. Um, how life-saving this product was, I believe, for the for the, the baby. For the baby. You and know who we're talking yeah, about, baby, and, Don and when I read the story, I mean, it's literally it puts tears to your eyes uh, on so ha how impacting this is that it saved that baby, but obviously many others will down the road. So it's just, it's very neat to uh, have you a part of our team and yeah. which well, lives you've touched. Guys, I hate to say it, but we got to go. But I tell you what, Donald, and we're going to have you back. Uh, there's so much more that I want to cover with you and the transition that you've made from what you were doing to what you're now doing. And I definitely want to have you back maybe within the next couple of months. Um, you know, we were blessed, Don Lynn, to go to your retirement party. Yeah. And um, to be able to go and see all the moms there with their children, you have touched so many lives. I was going to ask you, you know, when you decided to get into midwifery, but I know why. And we were so honored to be at your, your, that gathering Thank you. and to see how many lives you've touched. I'm so blessed to have you there. I well, wish all my girls could have come, but of course yeah. it's been 15 years. So yeah. You know yeah. Sure. yeah. So Donalyn, thank you. Next week, uh, next week, guys, Maureen and I and my wife will be up in Dallas at attending an event uh, with Terry Latham. And Dr. Osler will be here with Dr. Dick Walker and with Chuck Grijalva. And he is a re he's a um, respiratory therapist. Mm -hmm. His testimonial is also extremely powerful. So uh, please do not miss next Friday with uh, with the, the panel, with the ASEA 5, whatever the number is. We still call it the ASEA 5. Maureen, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank My you pleasure. You. Oh. you can't wait to see you in a couple of days. Yeah, I, I know. And hug your neck. You know what? Yeah. We've been asked to give a disclaimer just one more time. It's not a yes. medical product. We're not here to diagnose, treat. Um, and, you know, we can't make any guarantees that this is going to to, to fix anything in your body. But... I'll tell you what, it's not going to hurt you, and it may be the answer to prayer. So by all means, if you know yes. someone's a challenge, please get them on the product. So thank With you. That, Love you guys. Thank Bye. You. We'll, we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks for the weekend. Bye.